Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Been excited to do this video with you guys uh, and it is a perfect day and time to do it. Um, just to kick it off here, man we've got a lot of good rain this summer. I think we've only had two days that were upper 90s, maybe touching 100. It seems like by now we usually have I don't know 20 plus days 15 plus days of 100 degree or better so we have been very very fortunate but with all of this rain man the ponds are looking good the first question i get when i talk to a lot of people that are looking to book a trip to come for three days and hunt with me in the lodge is bob what's the water situation like you guys gonna have ducks this year the answer is absolutely thank goodness for this summer rainfall, we have been getting a ton. So we're gonna uh, pond hop around, water hop around, and check out the level of uh, all the ponds. And uh, we're gonna kick it off with this one right here. This is one of my this is one of my favorite spots. Uh, I'm very proud to lease uh, this sand pit, and it looks like Randy. Look at that! Look at that! He's been keeping tabs on the water level. He's got a bolt out there. He's got a bolt over here. Yep, been keeping tabs and it has came up a lot. Ooh, look at the hide for this year. So last season, the water was all the way down there. Like, I'm talking a big difference. This is gonna be really nice. Man, look at all the goose tracks already. They're everywhere. This is where we hide. This stuff is new. All of this close to the edge is all new because the water level's been so low. That is going to be great. Ooh, look at all the dove getting up. Oh my. Uh, this is where you can see where we usually put the A-frame. It's all pushed down back here. Let me throw in a couple clips of why I call this one of my favorite spots to hunt. All of them. Donkey. That's a donk. That's a donk in the bag. Get ready, guys. September 1st hurries because I think that I could do some solo dove hunting down here on the water. That'd be awesome with Judge and Fred. Water retrieving dove. We're going to do it this year a lot. But that's where we hide all the time. This place has produced um, some killer shoots. A lot of 50 plus bird shoots. Um, it has produced one of the best water snow goose shoots that I've ever done. And it's produced, I don't know, probably four or five bands in the last three years. So, very, very special place to me. I need to take the boy fishing again because I see fish jumping everywhere. So, number one, if you're looking to come hunt any of these spots with me, uh, we do a lot of field hunting here at Sand Hill Flyways. But uh, waters, man, we hunt this baby. 
I don't know. I, I don't want to say how many times, but it's not a lot. We only hunt it when it's good. If you want to come hunting with me, guys, head over to sandhillflyways.com, fill out the booking form. I'll be getting a hold of you, please. Serious inquires only. December is pretty full. Uh, remaining dates in November are starting to get slim. But if you want to secure something January, February, November, possibly December, it's tight, get a hold of me. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Work in the potato shop. Oh, fun, fun. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I'm driving around looking around. Uh, have you looked at the strip field lately? Uh-uh. Oh, boy. What? They're beans, and they look really, really tall and glorious. Oh, good. Thank. As long as something's in there, I don't give a shit. I wouldn't care if it was just soft grass. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, they are big beanie weenies. I'm telling you what, they look gorgeous for being dry land. Good. Unreal. We're looking you guys really had a bunch nice. of run, rain the last two days? Yeah, we've had a ton of rain, actually. Yeah, we have two. I bet we've got two and a half inches. Yes, the fall crop's going to be freaking amazing. Yeah. How's the pond in the back? You, you gotta have some water in here now. It's awesome. Uh, the millet is freaking, I don't know, I mean, hip high. The stuff I planted last year. Yeah. It's awesome. I'm burning around the ponds, all the sheet water ponds and whatnot. And making a vidya. Sweet. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm getting psyched up. I can't wait. Oh, I know. <laughs> That was old G-Wagon, old Gerald. Uh, we've been hanging out quite a bit, uh, talking about the season, getting ready, both getting pumped. Been talking to Aaron a lot about the season, getting pumped. Bert, Chef Bert, he can't wait, obviously. He's always excited. I wanted to show you this real quick. Um, this is, in fact, dry land corn, okay? This is not irrigated. There is not a pivot out there. No, this is not my lease field. This is actually a field that I have made a lot of videos on in the past that you all have been there with me uh, on. But um, unfortunately, um, it is now leased by someone else, yada yada. But I wanted to show how good the non-irrigated corn looks on this field. I've never seen this field with corn this tall. So um, it's just going to be an unbelievable season, y'all. Look at this. It is not even mid-July. We've had a lot of rain, so... Um, if you're wondering if the Kansas hunting is going to be good, it's going to be good. We're going to go to the next pond, a small one that I wasn't able to hunt last year. I planted millet in it. You all were there with me. It went dry before the season started. Should be full, and I wonder if my millet has came up. <laughs> Look at this. It's like a herd of cattle. Mini cattle coming out of the big cattle. So I came down here to check this pond and you guys probably can't see it, but there's a pair of mallards right there. This pond has not had water in it forever. Let me crop this down. So there is the cattle and there is a ton. I shouldn't say a ton, probably 50, every bit of 50 honkers. Big daddies, little daddies. Look at them walking through the grass. I barely seen them. <laughs> I don't know. Good sign though. There you go. All right, here we go. We got standing water in the beans. Here's one of my lease ponds. And we have some mallards. You guys probably can't see them. Those mallards actually live here. They've been here. I've, I can see it from the road. Why I'm coming down here. In other words, I want to see if um, the millet I planted last year in this pond took off this year with all this rain. Because my pond at home, which we will give it a look over when we get back to the house, it'll be the last place we stop, obviously. I'll show you what's up on the backyard pond situation where the pit blind is. That millet that I planted last year is tall, like I told you earlier. But um, beans are looking good. Um, I just heard that um, this is supposed to be the best fall harvest. So corn, milo, wood duck just got out of there. Corn, milo, beans, the best fall crop in 10 years. If that tells you anything, you ought to get to Kansas this year. Ugh. 
No millet. <laughs> no millet, just some mallards sitting right here on the wood. I planted a ton of millet in here last year. And I bet you what happened was, I remember planting it and the farmer that farms this field and around the pond, he said, Bob, if you ever plant anything, make sure you tell me so I don't spray and kill it. He was like, because if I don't know you, you planted something, I will spray and I will end up demolishing whatever it is you planted. Just see how close he, he was able to plant these beans. Uh huh. If this water keeps coming up into these beans, it gets nasty. I remember the first time I ever found this pond, um, it was beans and it was the same thing. It was dry when they were able to plant them. And then we got a ton of water and it cascaded out into the beans and flooded them. And the mallards were everywhere up in this bee. So she's looking really good, man. When I found this pond, I don't know, five years ago and got it, I wasn't able to hunt it during that time. It would have been the best mallard pond duck hunt in Kansas that I probably would have ever been able to do to my knowledge no one hunted it that year and um, this might be the year to see it do it again man beautiful place yeah you see how this whole side is just whacked completely dead he definitely sprayed so I can't tell if any of these weeds burnt weeds were millet are millet doesn't look like it there are just kill deer everywhere. Um, another exciting news before we get to the next pond. Um, the Patreon, my podcast, I'm switching it up a little bit. Um, it is getting ready, starting today will be the first new episode of many uh, that is going to go up over there. Now it's usually, you know, all this time it's been Blind Talk Podcast. I don't know whether I'm going to change the name of the Patreon to just Bobby Guy or something, but basically... All of my uncut stuff, my raw stuff, my unedited uh, videos, short clips, long videos, stuff I can't put on YouTube uh, podcasts. They ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna fire them up. But it's not just gonna be podcasts anymore. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to keep it active and entertaining for you guys because one thing y'all want, you want call videos, you know, how to duck call, how to goose call, uh, tips, decoy tips spreads cleaning videos how to clean birds how to clean deer all that stuff right and you want to see me be able to uh use the language that i like on like that i like to use you guys also like to just see me be myself and so uh, i'm kind of revamping my patreon my podcast and it's going to be just a platform for me by myself to be unedited uncut raw and for my fans who want to be there, who want to support me. So, still going to have the podcast popping over there. They'll be a little different as well, but a lot more content's going to go up there weekly, every other day, you name it. Whatever you guys want that I don't want to do here on the channel, whether it's, you know, I don't know, controversial, too much language, too many guns, too much blood, I don't know, you tell me. How-to videos, Old Foul Friday stuff like that will be on my Patreon slash podcast. It's always linked at the top of the description. Go join when you guys do. It directly helps your boy. Um, I, I greatly appreciate everyone that's been over there the last couple years. Uh, it's time to revamp it, time to make it bigger and better than ever. I'm giving away actually a Sand Hill Flyaways hunt to come here for two of y'all over there on my Patreon. So we'll probably do that giveaway in September, I would imagine just so it'll give whoever whoever gets it it'll give them some time to plan so wow corn on both sides of the road look at this so this see that tree right there right there is where the water starts a big private marsh yes this is this is Preston's old marsh you guys seen me and Preston hunt it a bunch I actually hunted it two or three times this last fall so it has amazing corn all the way around it. Alrighty, well, um, yes, I have a lot of farm ponds leased. Okay, not a lot, but a handful. And all of our farm ponds, nowhere, no matter where it's at, no matter if I lease it or not, all of the farm ponds are doing 
great but uh, they actually have to be surrounded by trees pretty deep those ones are awesome y'all have been asking about the backyard pond here it is doing really well this is the millet i actually planted last year really good really awesome around the entire bank looks saucy really does there have been a handful of mallards staying on it i try not to come back here uh you know as much as i can i try to leave it you know we don't ride quads and motorcycles and golf carts back here much anymore uh due to the possibility of good hunts last year y'all seen me and my son how many dove hunts we actually got out back here it's all because of this right here the wild sunflowers they are everywhere on my hills around it and then you got the water sand dove heaven oh <laughs> yep i know i know y'all are gonna call me lazy i've been busy with fourth of july just like all you have i have not got the lodge cleaned and squared back away since we did the floors if you haven't seen the video of the professional epoxy job it completely just changed the entire look of the lodge you got to go watch that video um yes so this is available uh for airbnb during the off seasons usually it's like a requirement of uh six or eight people to come in and usually people come for the state fair uh for a golf tournament we have a professional course nearby us um yeah it's um it's the deal so i gotta get after it i can't keep yapping anymore but guys if you are looking to book a hunt here with me this coming fall this winter november through february that's when i guide get a hold of me sandhillflywoods.com fill out the inquire to book form yours truly will be reaching out to you please 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 serious inquires only i would say you have to be over 18 to inquire number one um if your dad is interested in you know paying for the deal or ho you know you guys come and make sure your dad calls me i don't mean anything bad about it it's just it, it is what it is so whew, i'm a one-man band out here uh big shout out to my wife for always helping me with the finances and the books but i am truly a one-man band when it comes to booking and making sure this place is filled up and ready to go so all the boys can show up and have a job so i have a job <laughs> and again uh the the patreon the podcast uh, i'm gonna start putting all the raw stuff over there the uncut stuff all everything i can't put over here the how-to videos are immediately going to start going up over there plus we're giving away a two-man hunt over there for two y'all to come here this season subscribe to it it goes directly to supporting me me only yours truly so thank you everyone that's stayed over there i know it's been uh, a little slow lately with the off season but i'm changing the program over there i'm ex i'm in, i'm very excited about it I, I can't wait to share some of my behind the scenes ideas with you um, and just kind of let you in my life more personally, uh, more, more than I ever have. So thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.